So I got a request for question number 2a on lesson 3. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one. So we want to solve by elimination. So we have 5x minus 10y equals 7 and negative 2x plus 4y equals negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead and label these 1 and 2. Um, and then I'm going to eliminate one of the variables just as the name suggests. So in order to eliminate, I'm going to pick the x's. So I want these gone. So the only way I can eliminate it is if the coefficients are the same, because if I have a 10 and a 10, then I can add them up and get zero, and so this will be gone. So I am going to um, take the first equation and multiply it by two. So, and then, whoops, I'm gonna take the second equation and multiply it by five. And by doing that, I end up with um, 10x and negative 10x. But remember, when you multiply, you can't change things in math. So we can keep this equality by multiplying all the terms by 2. So let's go ahead and do that. So 2 times 5x is 10x. 2 times negative 10 is negative 20. And 2 times 7 is 14. And then I'll multiply this one. So 5 times negative 2 is negative 10x. 5 times 4 is 20y. And 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So now I have two new equations. And I want to eliminate my variable. So I take a look at my x's. And I say I've got different signs, one positive and one negative. So if you remember, if you use your calculator, um, just to double check, right? If I do 10 plus, remember the negative buttons here, negative 10, then I get zero. So that means my x's are eliminated. So I'm going to add these up. My other option would have been to subtract them. But if I do 10 minus negative 10, then I get 20, which is not eliminated. I now have 20 x's, which I don't want. So I want to do addition. So remember, if the signs are different, add. And if the signs are the same, subtract. So here I go, I add these together, I get zero x's, so that's eliminated. Um, then I, um, so I'm just gonna go, I normally wouldn't write it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and write that zero here because I don't have anything. Then I have negative 20 plus positive 20. Well, they're different signs, so this is also gonna give me zero. And then I have 14 plus negative 10, which gives me four. Well, nothing plus nothing is still nothing and nothing equals 4. Hmm, there's no way these two things are the same. If I have 0 of something and I have 4 of something, so this is, this, there's, this can't happen. So since this can't happen, that's that funny thing that you are supposed to notice, right? We don't have any x's and y's, so that's a problem. Um, which means then that we don't, we can't get a solution here. So in essence, there's no solution and there's no point of intersection. So the next part of the question says, well, why is this funny thing happening? Why, how can there possibly be no solution and no point of intersection when you have two lines? So it asked you to go out to Desmos and to just graph it if you couldn't think of it. So just graph it and take a look. So I already did that and I'm just gonna show you the graph. So um, this line here is 5x minus 10y equals 7. And this line here is negative 2x plus 4y equals negative 2. Well, when I look at these two lines, I notice that they're parallel. And I know that if two lines are parallel, they're never going to meet because they're just going to keep following their parallel path forever. So in this example, when I looked at these, right, of course there would be no solution if the lines are parallel. So I'm going to go back and explain. So there's no point of intersection because the lines are parallel. All right. So um, 
I would like you to, to, to just maybe take a look at this and see how you could tell, right, without going through this step of like the adding and subtracting, just by looking at these two equations. How can you tell that they're going to be parallel before you even get started? And then go ahead and do B, because B is not going to be quite the same. Something different that's funny is going to happen. So go ahead and do B, put them into Desmos, and see if you can see what's going on. And then see if you can come up with a rule um, to be able to check to see if they're parallel or if they have a point of intersection, if they have no points of intersection, or if this funny thing happens. Hope that helps.